Hey there, Falcon fans. This is Stickster. Uh, I've got a quick video to show you something I did with the Lua script processor that is built into Falcon. Um, sorry for not having too many videos out lately. Uh, things have been very busy here. My wife and I have been traveling a bit and we adopted a dog recently. And uh, so there's a lot of things happening. Definitely like the video if you get something out of this and please subscribe. And that way you'll get notified when I publish these. Okay, so today I'm just going to show you uh, this script that I whipped up. Right now I've got a patch in here. It's very simple. It's just a guitar pluck. And I am using the Euclidean tonal script processor. And I've just input a couple different parameters here. Uh, so I'm using the first, third, and fifth degrees of the scale uh, in C major to output a sequence of events. And you'll notice that the number of steps and the number of hits are um, fairly random. And so you get kind of this clashing sort of rhythm that happens between these different elements. I'm just gonna hold down a G key and so you're gonna hear the elements of G that are in the C major scale. So the first element will be G, the third element will be uh, B natural and the fifth element being D. So you're gonna hear this G major triad. Okay, pretty simple. Um, Something that I noticed that Falcon does not have built in on this Euclidean generator uh, is something to reduce the probability of a hit coming out. And so I decided to set myself a little challenge. Could I learn enough Lua to make a script that would allow me to randomly drop some of the notes going in? And it turns out this is actually very easy to do. So I'm going to add another event processor right after the Euclidean one. And if I go down here to my user uh, script processors and I can choose random drop, uh, this is the script that I wrote. And so what you're gonna hear is if I hold down this key right now, uh, this script processor will be doing nothing at this point. It is basically built to drop events randomly, just as it says, based on a probability setting. And that setting is via the skip knob. So if I hold down a key right now, skip is at zero, so it's really not gonna do anything. But watch what happens as I turn this up. Now you may not notice a lot yet, but once I turn this up over half, you can hear how that has affected the probability of a note coming out. And if I turn it way up, it's almost never gonna run and you will almost never hear a note. And in fact, if I turn the skip up to 100%, no notes will make it out of the script. So I can set this as I like. And of course, this knob is just like any knob in Falcon. If I right click it, I can assign it to host automation. I could MIDI learn it. I can assign a macro to it. Uh, and then assign LFOs to that macro and do all sorts of fun things with it. So how does this work? Well, basically I just put together a script uh, and I'm gonna show you that script now. You can get this off of my GitHub. I'll leave a link in the description below, um, but it's a very, very simple macro. Just sets up a label for the uh, script processor. It establishes the knob called skip. Uh, and then there is this function that runs anytime a note comes in, a random number is generated between zero and one uh, as a very long decimal number. And if that is less than the value of the skip knob, then the uh, script will, re will return and not do anything. And if that random value is over the value of the knob, then the normal play note will be issued. And this basically just lets the note come through. So in other words, it's intercepting notes and not doing anything. Uh, if the randomness uh, knob is set very high, if it's set very low, you're going to get a lot more of these notes coming out. So it's a very simple script. I've not seen anything like this in the Falcon toolbox, and I thought it might be fun to try this as an experiment. So uh, now I can use this basically to do things that will sound a little more generative, and I may 
uh, and make some more experiments. I may try and build this out into something more complicated if and when I get time. But basically, this shows you how easy it is to build a custom script for Falcon. Um, I'm just showing you the script in my, in my Visual Studio code. You can write it in any editor of your choice. Uh, and then basically what you do is you drop that into your user presets for the event processor. Just find the script processor and you can drop your scripts in there and everything will work like magic and you can load them up just like I'm doing here. And of course, this script will work anywhere you can drop another script processor. So I'm doing this at the program layer, but in the layer level, you can use that as well. So I hope this inspires you to do something cool. And I also hope that you'll share that with the world. I hope you have a lot of fun with Falcon. And this is Stickster, and I will see you next time.